Welcome to Biomass Magazine's top headlines from the past week. I'm your host, Jill Nelson. An innovative bioenergy carbon capture and storage pilot project at Drax Power Station in the UK is now underway. In late November, Drax announced the project is expected to begin capturing carbon dioxide in the next few weeks. The pilot project will last roughly six months and features technology developed by Leeds University spin-out SeaCapture. Only days after Drax announced the project had begun commissioning, the UK government released an action plan that aims to enable the development of the nation's first industrial-scale carbon capture and storage project. Find out more information released by the government in our online story. The US EPA is taking action to amend its new source performance standards for residential wood heaters that were issued in 2015. A proposed rule would provide retailers additional time to sell existing inventories of hydronic heaters and forced air furnaces. A separate advance notice of proposed rulemakings seeks comments on several aspects of the 2015 NSPS with a goal of informing future rulemakings. A hearing on the proposed rule is scheduled to be held in Washington, D.C. on December 17th. A 45-day common period will also open following publication of the proposed rule in the Federal Register. A newly released draft bill aims to sunset the renewable fuel standard and establish a national octane standard. On November 21st, Representatives John Shimkus and Bill Flores released a discussion draft of the bill titled the 21st Century Transportation Fuels Act. The bill would sunset the conventional biofuel requirements of the RFS, which is primarily met by corn ethanol as of 2023. Annual volume requirements for advanced biofuel, cellulosic biofuel, and biomass-based diesel would be set each year through 2032, after which the RFS would be repealed in its entirety. Many in the biofuels industry have criticized the bill for its treatment of the RFS. Read more about this story on biomassmagazine.com. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next week with more of the biomass industry's top stories.